Today, we're going to dive into BPC-157, a common peptide that is being used all over for health, wellness, performance, and longevity. Hi, my name is Dr. Aria Missimer. I'm a functional medicine practitioner, doctor of physical therapy, registered dietitian, owner of the Movement Paradigm Integrative Health Center, and medical educator for Rupa Health. Let's dive in. So what is a peptide? Essentially, it's a small protein made of a chain of amino acids. Anywhere from two up to 100 amino acids are building blocks. We have lots of different proteins in our body, so many of them have different roles, different from even the food that we're consuming. Although the food that we're consuming and the protein that we get from our food is often what's contributing to these peptides in our body. So combining peptides together is going to create what we call a polypeptide. And so what the peptide does are going to be very different, and they also are going to have a downstream effect. So some are neuromodulators, some are hormones, some have multiple roles, and again, they can affect various processes in the body, which is quite fascinating. So some of them may have up to 100 different roles in different pathways in the body. So if you take a, pe a peptide, any type of peptide, it's going to have potential downstream effects. So what is BPC-157? It's known as body protection compound 157, which is actually referred to as a pentadecapeptide that is comprised of 15 different amino acids that's naturally produced in the human gastric juices. We're referring to today the synthetic version that is mimicking the natural peptide in our body. So what are some of the key properties of BPC-157? The first is healing properties. This can be of various tissues such as the gut lining, including muscle, tendon, ligament, and also increasing blood flow by via the way of angiogenesis. So this can be that the BPC-157 is recognizing injured blood vessels. It's promoting activation of ENOS, influencing a, a growth factor in addition to more blood to the area, and promoting growth in capillaries and veins, improving fibroblast activity to a site of injury, and exuding anti-inflammatory benefits and properties. So before we get into all of the potential benefits of BPC-157, I think it is really important to recognize that most of the research has been done on animal studies. There has only been one human trial, and that was not a randomized control trial. So it is really important that to recognize that and that there are also no long-term data. So we don't want to necessarily extrapolate all of this information as truth because we don't have enough evidence to support it. However, you will see that there is a tremendous amount of anecdotal data. And so some of the things, the potential benefits via the research on animal models, as well as so the anecdotal reports, are stronger tissues. So in several studies, the regeneration of tendon and tissue created from BPC-157 could be stronger and healthier compared to the original tissue. Additionally, as I mentioned, it could reduce inflammation. So helping to reduce inflammation and overcome disorders that potentially cause the inflammation in the first place can, of course, really help with managing an injury, especially an acute injury, even a long-term injury, that inflammation seems to be negating some of that healing process. It can also attribute to quicker healing. So some tests were performed, of course, on lab mice, but it did conclude that BPC-157 has been effective in speeding up the healing time of soft tissue. So that is why it is extremely popular in the world of performance and injuries and athletics because we, of course, want really fast results. And there's also some potential for alcohol treatment. So some studies that used BPC-157 for ethanol antagonism have shown positive results. And, you know, so this could be something to be explored with alcoholism in general. It could also potentially reduce liver damage. And this has been shown when there's been a regular cycle of six weeks on and four weeks off. It can potentially, through various ways of angiogenesis and increased blood flow and vasodilation, influence erectile dysfunction. And what's also very interesting is it can potentially improve brain function. So it's been found that BPC-157 can have a healthy impact on the nervous system. 
And the way that it's doing that is when it's peripherally taken, there could be a serotonin release in particular areas of the brain. And BPC-157 can modulate those serotonin and dopamine systems in the body. And so that can create different behavioral responses. So especially when there's an overstimulated or potentially damaged neurotransmitter system. So potentially someone that's experiencing, let's say, anxiety. So there might be a hyperactivity or hyperarousal of those symptoms or depression. There might be more of a hypoarousal. When there's some dysregulation in these neurotransmitter systems, BPC-157 can potentially help to bring balance to that. And then it can also have potential neuroprotective effects as it relates to peripheral nerve regeneration. So after traumatic brain injury in there was, they did this, of course, again in rats, but looking at spinal cord protection as well as demyelination, cyst formation, that there were benefits in BPC-157. So what are some of the side effects? At this point, there are very few side effects, and some of them are considered to be nausea, diarrhea, or dizziness. And when taken in proper dosages, the potential impacts of these side effects, of course, are lessened just like any other supplement or medication that we are consuming. But it is very important to make sure that you're getting it if you choose to or you're doing it with your patients as you're getting it from high quality sources. Some other things to consider is that it is not currently FDA approved. However, it is used for off-label use. Now, this is important because FDA has not approved it because of its concern of safety and efficacy in no long-term human clinical trials. It is available mostly in research and experimental therapeutic contacts. We do want to consider the black market sources because these have not been cleaned from LPS, lipopolysaccharide, and this can create a huge immune response and inflammatory response. And also in the black market, a lot of things that say what they are are not actually what they are. You do, if you decide to choose this, you want to be with a board certified physician or a compounding pharmacy. And some of the administration routes are commonly going to be administered via injection or orally. It can be subcutaneous or intramuscular injections. It does not seem like the mode of delivery matters too much because it is able to bypass the gastric juices. So I hope that this was helpful in giving you a little bit more of an informed decision on whether you decide to take BPC-157 or discuss this with your physician. And the same for you as a prescribing doctor and if this is the right thing for your patients. So as always, thank you so much for joining. If you are interested in more root cause medicine, please subscribe today. We would love to have you part of our family. Hey, thanks for watching our video. If you order a lab test for your medical practice, head over to rootbelt.com to order hundreds of different labs from over 35 different lab companies, including Dutch, Dr. Zeta, Mosaic, and more.